Kevin Sexton has just got his first ever Cheltenham Festival winner on board Belfast Banter with a beautiful textbook ride, Kevin, on the new course here, just delivering it late. Talk me through it. Um, yeah, he jumped and he travelled. He travelled better than he's ever travelled. I think the drying ground really helped him. Um, he jumped brilliant, even at hurdles where I wanted him to pop. He was having a cut. He always wanted to go forward and it's just a matter of holding on to him for as long as I could. And it looked as though you met a bit of trouble in running at the top of the hill, a bit short of room? A little bit. There was horses coming back, but I was actually very lucky. I just kind of got out of it. I might have checked for a stride, but I had a clear enough run through. I always was close, and close, as, close as I wanted to be. And is this a horse that wherever you are, particularly here, of course, but it needs to, he needs to be delivered late? He needs to be delivered late, yeah. He, in, pa in the past, he's tend to not found much after bridal, but like he had 10 stone today. And to be fair to him, when I gave him a squeeze, he picked up and he galloped to the line. And when were you hopeful that you were actually going to sneak in? Because he was starting to run, on, wasn't he, on Sunday? And yeah, to be honest, I, I never thought he was going to get in. Um, if I'm being truthful, I had all eyes in the mare yesterday. I bet. Uh, and I thought I was going home without a winner. I thought if this lad finished in the middle, it'd be great. And to be honest, it still hasn't sunk in what he actually done. Well, well it, it's a super ride. You'll really enjoy looking back at it because you delivered him absolutely perfectly. And Royal Kalahala, what, what did happen? Um, she was a bit sore afterwards. I think the ground in that trip was just everything happened a bit quick for her. Um, I'd imagine she might get a break now down to Peter and, and the syndicate but uh, she's plenty of things to look forward to next year thank God. And what does this success mean to you and also for Peter, it's his first chess, uh, um, It's unbelievable success. and to do it for Peter I, I was actually a bit emotional after cause this time two years ago I'd given up riding and um, things weren't happening and I wasn't happy, I give up all hate, hope if it wasn't for like my family my friends, my girlfriend and Peter and Burr I wouldn't be here today. And so what made you think well I, I, I can I can make a go of this what made you stick with it um, I'd say I hadn't rode for about a year maybe a year and a half and uh, I just I wasn't much good at anything else and lucky people talked me out of it like I said good friends my family and my girlfriend and, and got me back on the right road and I, I love racing and I'm lucky enough now that I am making a living out of it and is this season, were you confirming to yourself that you've made the right decision? Have you been happy with the, how things have gone? Without a doubt, yeah. Look, I've 16 winners this season alone. I think I had 15 last year, so it's been going better than I ever thought I would coming back. And it's all down to Peter and the team and um, his wife, Burr. Like, it's, it's unbelievable to have that team behind me, considering I had given up two years ago. It's quite right that you should get emotional, though, because this is what people dream of. Yeah. Festival success. And to be honest, I'd kind of given up in the dream. I just consider myself lucky to be here and to be taking part. And we're lucky to be taking part, thanks, thanks to Jennifer and all of her team. Like We're lucky to be here today, and they don't get enough praise for all they're looking after, the one of us. Well, we're delighted to have you here, because that ride was just gorgeous. You'll enjoy looking back on it. Many congratulations, Cheers. Kevin. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you.